Got a pretty intriguing lot on screen right now. This is lot 104. This is 19 5 bread gilt. And uh, I know that the buying public wants to see kingpin daughters. Uh, they've made that very clear with those that have reached out and inquired. And, and this one's a kingpin. Uh, and I think that alone offers plenty of intrigue. Uh, she's got the kingpin look up front. Uh, she's got the kingpin skeleton, and she's certainly got all kinds of power to go with it. The bottom side of her pedigree, her mother's a dirty deeds, white privilege. Uh, that particular sow would have sold in the sow sale a year ago. Uh, dirty deeds was a dirty secret son that we sold that uh, stood at Moyers there for, for a couple seasons. Uh, so she's a kingpin, dirty, de dirty deeds. But I think what, what offers the most intrigue is that she's always looked like a Berkshire. Uh, she's got some Berkshire color mark. Uh, she's a guilt that uh, when she was a little pig, we had some folks ask if they could show her as a Berkshire. Uh, and naturally here in the Midwest, that's not quite as easy to, easy to do. But uh, we, bred her, we bred her to sorry for the weight. And uh, again, sorry for the weights, the board SGI. He's a litter mate to the champion Burke Barrow at OIE. When I had the chance to see that Barrow up close and personal when I was in the ring there at OIE, it was very evident that uh, we needed to find some spots to use his brother. And uh, we thought this was kind of a unique and appealing spot to try. So this is 19-5. Uh, She's a kingpin, dirty deeds. We bred her to sorry for the weight uh, with anticipation that she'll crank out a few Berkshire colored pigs. And uh, even if that doesn't happen, I think you've still got an incredible kingpin female to work with going forward and uh, one that'll have a lot of value uh, in her career. So 19-5, lot 104, kingpin, dirty deeds, bred to sorry for the weight.